of our next presenters have had the privilege of working with Oliver Stone, who is now pretty sure that it was them in the Texas Book Depository. Okay. She movingly portrayed a Vietnamese peasant in Heaven and Earth, and we loved him madly as Jim Morrison in The Doors. Please welcome Joan Chen and Val Kilner. Of all the unsung artists in our industry, none put in more hours than the people known as the makeup artists. They set up shop before the actors come in, usually before the sun comes up, and they're on the set until the shooting is done. This year, eight people have been nominated for their work on three very unique films. For the best achievement in makeup, the nominees are... For Mrs. Doubtfire, Greg Canham, B. Neal, and Yolanda Toussaint. Transform Robin Williams from a daddy into a nanny. Carl Fullerton employed makeup and Alan D'Angerio hair as they collaborated in bringing Tom Hanks from good health to his gradual demise in Philadelphia. For Schindler's List, Christiana Smith, Matthew Mungle, and Judy Alexander Corey were the three artists who hid the healthy hair of actresses by designing and applying special ball caps and wigs. And the Oscar for makeup goes to Greg Canham, V. Neal, and Yolanda Toussaint from Mrs. Doubtfire. Thank you, Academy. I want to thank my crew, Mitch Devane, Lynn Notero, John Logan, Roland Blanc, Fleur, Steve Prouty, Todd Tucker, Keith Vanderlaan, Larry O'Dean, Kim Cooper at 20th. <laughs> We'd like to thank our producers, Marsha Williams, Joan Bradshaw, and, and Mark Radcliffe, my assistant, Stefan Dupuis, and our wig maker, Renata. We'd like to thank the Academy for uh, their gracious consideration for our hairstylists in this category this year and from now on. And also we would like to thank most of all Robin Williams for his beautiful portrayal and his patience as Mrs. Doubtfire. Thank you very much. Thank you. 